Hey guys, Steve here from GeekPeak.rocks and welcome back to GeekPeak. Today we're going to take a peek into uh, more figures in the Arkham Origins collection. Now today I have this set and this set includes um, the Joker as the Red Hood, um, Copperhead, and we had Deathstroke without his mask. Um, this, I had a four pack set of Arkham Origins and it was uh, Batman um, the Joker, Black Mask, and Deathstroke with his mask on. So, so uh, having Deathstroke without the mask is kind of cool, and De Deathstroke is, is definitely uh, a favorite of mine, uh, along with the Joker is my favorite villain. So, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're just we're going to get a closer look at the packaging and a closer look at each figure and articulation and um, uh, paint jobs and things like that and sculpts and and uh, so let's get into it. Alrighty, guys. So as far as packaging, we get the Batman logo. We get the Batman cut out on top. 75 years of Batman, which is awesome and, uh, and, and ridiculous. Batman's been around for 75 years. That's cool. You get your, your basic, uh, you know, uh, graphics in the background. You do get some Batman artwork, which is very nice. Um, uh, nice, nice artwork of Batman there. On the back, you've got other figures to collect. Of course, this is the one that I, I'm working on now. Um, I cannot wait to get Killer Croc. Very much looking forward to Killer Croc. Killer Croc, sorry. And Firefly. I'm looking forward to that. I'm also I really, really want Bane. Between Bane, Killer Croc, and Firefly, man, I cannot wait to get those. And I've almost got them all, um, so I'm getting close. But uh, so, and then uh, you know, more, more Batman artwork on the sides so so basically I mean basic basic packaging really um, not, a, not a whole lot to look at so let's let's get this thing open and, and check out these characters so here we have Deathstroke Unmasked now he's pretty much the same body sculpt as the masked Deathstroke that I got in my last set um, I'll show you them side by side and in comparison um, uh, overall still a great figure um, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get a closer look at this Deathstroke in particular, and, t and take a look at his face sculpt and and uh, articulation and things like that. So let's get a closer look. Alrighty, so this Deathstroke comes with his sword and the sheath on his back, <clears throat> his katana, and uh, a gun, which does come out of the holster, which is very cool. So um, here we have. Um, now I'm gonna. I'm going to lose some of his weapons to show you the articulation, but and then here's his face sculpt, um, which is which is really nice. Uh, got the the patch over the eye, and and the patch runs all the way, you know, the the strings run all the way around his head, um, which is very cool. Um, he's got a very kind of dirty, rugged-looking face, like he's he's been in a battle, and. Uh, very nice face sculpt. I do, I do do like that face sculpt very much. So then we get into the body um, articulation wise. I mean we do have these shoulder pads that that stop um, shoulder movement about there because it kind of locks into to place right there. Um, you do get full rotation of the shoulder. Um, you get a bicep um, rotation. Um, you get the elbow joint uh, which is very tight um, so you got the elbow joint you got some wrist rotation of course same with with his with his other arm um, shoulder very minimal up up and down and then of course the the full rotation on on that and the, bi the bicep turn and and uh, elbow tight elbow joint and then you got uh, wrist so um, and, and we do have waist movement. Uh, we do have like a, a waist rotation. He can pretty much spin all the way around. And um, no, no ab crunch. It looked like he might have ab crunch, but I can't. Well, very little if he does. So, so uh, they have that as far as, as waist rotation. Now, his, uh, his leg will move out about, about to there. Um, and uh, you know back and forth movement. Uh, you do get um, a knee or a knee joint, um, and uh, 
I thought it was double. I think it's a, it's a double jointed knee. So, so um, yeah, you do get you do get that double jointed knee action there, and you get this foot so tight. These joints are very tight, but this this foot is on a joint as well. It's not a ball joint, but it's you know you can move it up and down on the foot. So so there you have it, pretty much for articulation on this death stroke. Uh, almost exact same body sculpt as the last death stroke and um, and that's okay and then as far as uh, paint job and, and details I mean you get your, you get your bullets um, your different accessories he's got like this rubber uh, satchel um, his belt is is rubber and they all kind of hook together um, with the different accessories and things like that. Satchel there. Of course his, his holster and his gun comes out of his holster. Um, and uh, you know, all, all the way, all the details, all the battle damage, all the details. Now with this one, his waist is super loose. I mean, it's just super loose, which a little unfortunate, but other than that, um, lots, lots of, lots of, uh, lots of uh, details. A lot of detail going on in this figure, um, you know, with the with the straps and 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 things like that, and pleats and pants and and different things like that, and, and a great face sculpt. So, so there you have Deathstroke. Um, very nice figure. Same body sculpt as the mask one, but that's okay. Very nice figure. Very poseable very good looking figure um, yeah I, I do like him I do like him unmasked um, I, I like the look of this so a uh, very very nice looking desk alrighty guys so here we have Copperhead and she is a pretty decent figure um, she's uh, there's something very strange about her midsection I'll show you when we get a closer look and she's supposed to be like a contortionist and I think they tried to incorporate that feature into this figure which is okay I mean but we'll take a look at that so let's let's get a closer look at Copperhead here is Copperhead her face sculpt very very good very good face sculpt hair um, very nice uh, paint job on the hair uh, very nice nice job on the face and the makeup and if I can get focused in I want to show you these eyes um, I don't know if I can get focused in or not her, her eyes are very cool. Um, the the uh, and I, I don't think I can get it. Her eyes are very reptilian-like, and they're supposed to be. I mean, that's she's she's basically. They, I mean, they don't call her Copperhead for no reason. But anyway, um, the the eyes are very cool. Very nice job. A very nice job on the paint job, makeup, things like that. Um, I do I do like that. Um, and then uh, you have her tattoo work. Um, now the mid midsection that I was talking about is here, and you notice like the rest of her's plastic, hard plastic. Um, her face is a hard plastic. Her midsection is is rubber, and and I mean it all it all works together. I mean it goes in nicely with the plastic and how everything's sculpted, and that works. And and, and she kind of she'll kind of do stuff like that. Um, and she she's posable in the midsection like it is just stay in place little by little and I think They're trying to incorporate that snake like uh, Contortionist type of into the figure they're trying and, and I mean that's okay. It's just and it doesn't it doesn't look bad that being rubber and uh, it, it doesn't really take away from the overall look of the corset so uh, it, it was just kind of weird when I picked her up and, and felt that but but that's okay. So anyway, um so there you have that. Now you have all these details. Um, in in uh, well, let's 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 get into articulation. Here's here's her head. Her head will turn all the way around, so you get a full 360 motion there. Her arm, her shoulder is on a ball joint, and there's really nothing getting in the way of of her arm just doing whatever it wants. Um, she has a uh, bicep uh, rotation. She has an elbow joint. Um, and she has wrist movement but no rotation and she has these really cool plates of, of armor like these these here those are cool and uh, um, in her legs um, her leg will 
Her leg will swing out. It has some rotation there. Thinking it's got, yeah, it's got, uh, it does have hip rotation. So you have hip rotation there. You have a double jointed knee um, and you've got foot rotation. So, so yeah, there's, there's the articulation. No, no hip move. Well, you do have this, this upper, upper, um, rotation here, which she'll spin all the way around. So you do have that. No, uh, I mean, you got the ab crunch from, from, um, you know, an adult. That, I mean, that is kind of cool. It's all, it all stays one piece and, you know, she can contort a little bit. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, there, there you have, um, that's your articulation. Now, getting into the detail, like I was showing you before, you got the tattoos, um, you've got the arm, arm, uh, straps going on. You have these, uh, braces, um, and, I mean, the, the detail in some of the stuff, I mean, that looks like, that does look like just some beat up metal. And, uh, you got you got a lot of a lot of detail going on. She's got like these snake-like patterns all over um, going on in in her um, sculpt. Um, she's got like the the straps around her ankles. She barefoot. Uh, she's a, the detail is there. The detail is definitely there. Um, she's a very very cool very cool figure. Basically, Copperhead is an escape artist, and she is an assassin, and she uh, she has snake-like features. She has a forked tongue. She has um, uh, reptile reptilian eyes, and she has these talons, these these poisonous talons that she attacks with. And she was hired by Black Mask to kill Batman. Alrighty guys, so there we have it. This is Copperhead and uh, very nice figure. Very pleased with the figure, very, very pleased with the detail of the figure and um, a very nice addition to this, this collection. Let's check out Joker as the Red Hood. Right, so here we have the Joker as the Red Hood. This is a cool figure. This is a really cool figure. Um, one of the things about this figure, um, when we can take a closer look, you'll see that the body sculpt is the exact same as the last figure, minus some details. There's some details on the last figure. Uh, paint job wise, there's some differences, which is cool. I mean, they, they changed it a little bit, but body sculpt is the exact same sculpt as the, the Arkham Origins Joker. Um, so, uh, and that's that's fine with me. Um, like I said, they, they added a few details that are different than the last one, and I'll show you them side by side um, in comparison, so you can you can have a look. Alrighty, guys. So here we have the Joker as the Red Hood, and uh, as far as face sculpt, this is what you get. You get you get this lipstick. Um, not not much to say about the face sculpt. Um, articulation wise is is the same as the last Joker um, the body sculpt is exactly the same except this cape may play a, a part in nah it doesn't nope you still get full shoulder uh, rotation the shoulder is not on a ball joint so the arm will not swing out it does have an elbow joint and it does have a um, wrist joint and wrist rotation um, so that's what you have for the arms. Um, legs, pretty basic too. Uh, you can you can pull the leg back um, pretty far. Cape cape doesn't really get in the way, and neither does the coat. And uh, pretty far forward. Um, you have a knee joint, and you have um, very 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 minimal foot foot uh, articulation. So so that's what you get. Um, the head does have movement I mean you can you can kind of you can look down a little bit you can look up a little bit so you get a little movement there and um, the differences between this one and the other Joker is is this leather is shinier as far as paint job goes well I'll show you here we have um, Arkham Origins Joker 
and he's a little yeah I mean the Red Hood Joker is a little shinier um, basically the sculpts are the same the, the paint job is just a little duller on um, the Red Hood or on the, the Arkham Origins Joker and then when you get down into the shoes um, his is detailed and his is not so um, basically you know the, that's about the difference between these two figures between the Joker and then the Red Hood Joker so so that's what you have um, the only thing I didn't like is is this uh, this white here um, where, where the hood meets the cape um, and, and they're probably not all that way but mine is that way and then that really really stands out and and it kind of goes pretty far around and that stuff like that and that kind of drives me crazy just minor little things are easy to overlook but that it just stands out like you wouldn't believe but and that is the only thing wrong with the paint job on this figure. The rest, and the, de the when they added the detail here, I mean, I like that. And the rest of the paint job is fantastic. The figure I love because I loved the Arkham Origins Joker, and I loved the the details in in the clothing, and 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 you know, and you see all the folds and the things and the details that they've done is a great figure. But but that that just that drives me crazy. And it's a metallic, so to touch that up, I mean, it'd be hard to match. So, it's just something you're going to have to deal with. Well, I'm going to have to deal with on this particular figure. So, there you have it. This is the Arkham Origins uh, Red Hood Joker figure. Um, I do like the figure. I like the the, the body sculpt. Um, now, the Red Hood, the, the mask, um, and the... The cape is great. The mask with the, the little the paint issue is unfortunate, but uh, overall a decent figure. Um, not disappointed uh, too much. Um, but th this set is a great set. Um, I'm very happy with uh, the, the details and the quality of this set, and and uh, just just a nice nice set. Alrighty, guys. So there we have our. Arkham Origins 3-pack, we got Copperhead, we got uh, Deathstroke without his mask, and we've got the Red Hood, uh, Joker impersonating the Red Hood. Um, and then of course we've got, you know, Joker and, and Deathstroke with his mask. <clears throat> but uh, all in all, very, very awesome set. Do love the set. And I do love, I love the entire collection, and, and I'm getting close to having them all. Definitely looking forward to Killer Croc and Bane, and uh, all of them actually. But Killer Croc and Bane are, are are on the top of the list for the for the next uh, figures I get. They do th sell these in singles, and then they do sell them in, in of course packs, four packs and three packs. Um, and I'll, I will definitely be getting the entire collection. So here you have it. Here is uh, some of the, the, the collection of the Arkham Origins. Digging it, loving it, loving these characters, loving the detail, loving the articulation, loving the paint jobs, quality figures, very happy. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to uh, just hit the subscribe button if you like what's going on here at the Geek Beak channel. If you like these reviews and things like that, hit subscribe. I'll be doing reviews all the time, comic book reviews and figure reviews. So thank you so much for watching, and we will talk to you soon. Goodbye. Guys, thanks for stopping by Geek Peak. Check me out on Twitter. I really want to interact with you guys. Check out some of my videos over here and subscribe up here. And check out www.geekpeak.rocks. www.geekpeak.rocks. That's our official website for the Geek Peak channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.